Okay, I'm going to do a real quick video, and I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way because I don't want to put a lot of time into this, on uh, my TP-Link uh, AC1900 router. Uh, I lost my 5G connection, and I figured out why I was in there, uh, into the... Uh, menu dashboard of the router itself, you know, you access it through a web browser with uh, 192.168.0.1 or in some cases 192.168.1.1 and I went to the uh, basic settings, wireless, and I'm futzing around and I hit the smart connect button, which what that does is that's for uh, if you're connected to the internet, it could switch you over either 5G or the 2.4G, uh, uh, depending on what the router decides is better. And I switched it back because my, my TV downstairs, I just want that on the 5G and then other stuff on the 2.4G. But what I found was is the only thing showing up was the 2.4G wireless, the TP-Link 5882, uh, the 5G was no longer showing up. I would only get that. And I'm like, WTF, what's going on? Uh, several hours toying around with it until I looked again and figured it out. Now, what I had done, and you may have also, is I hit the Smart Connect button, and it says Saved. Okay, so it says Saved. And you see TP-Link there, and that's basically both of them combined into one, and the router just decides. And then I switched it back, and I'm like, okay, whatever, blah, 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 hit save. There's the problem. It all, all that button seems to do is remove the additional name there. So if you go in there and hit dash 5... G, or you can call it whatever the hell you want. Uh, you can name this, you know, make up your own names, and eventually I will. And yes, password is just password, just for this, because I'm making a video, I had to overwrite it. And then hit save. And then lo and behold, when you go onto your TV, your phone, your laptop, or whatever, you will once again now have the choice of either the 2.4G or the 5G separately. This Smart Connect button, I am convinced the only thing it does is make both of these the same name, and then when you switch it back, you ha it, it's up to you to rename the 5G or rename both of them in order to get them separated again. This will put them mated together until you divorce them. So just because you turn off Smart Connect, it's actually still on until you rename one of these two. After that point, when you go to do a search, that's when you will see both of them as an option. Uh, I hope this helps you with a lot of headaches because I've seen on the internet trying to find an answer to this. TP-Link does not give anybody an answer. Most people wind up taking it back and getting their money back, but it's actually a very simple fix. Good luck. Thanks.